Then the leader of the monkeys, the biggest one of all, cried out to the others, Boys, a bridge! Quick, get lively! Make a bridge, a bridge! And quick as a flash, the monkeys made themselves into a bridge. They did it by holding hands and feet and tails. They made a bridge of monkeys. And the big one shouted, Walk over, all of you, walk across our bridge. Dr. Doolittle and his pets were all a bit afraid. Such a narrow bridge, and so high above the river. But all of them got over safely. The doctor was the last one to cross. Just as he reached the other side, the king's soldiers came rushing up behind them. They waved their swords, they threw their spears, they howled and they yowled. But they were too late. Dr. Doolittle and all his animals were safe in the land of the monkeys. The doctor found hundreds and thousands of very sick monkeys. He made all the monkeys come to be vaccinated. For three days and three nights they came from the jungles, they came from the valleys, they came from the mountains and hills. They came to a little house of grass, where the doctor sat all day and all night, vaccinating, vaccinating, and vaccinating. And then, very soon, the monkeys began to get better. But then the doctor was all worn out. He was so tired that he went to bed and slept for three days and three nights without even turning over. When he woke up, Dr. Doolittle saw that none of the monkeys were sick anymore. They were all well. His vaccinations had cured them all. So he told them that now he must go back home to Puddleby on the marsh. The monkeys were very surprised at this. They had hoped that the doctor would stay with them forever. That night they got together to talk things over. The big one got up and said, It is said that Dr. Doolittle must leave us, but since he must go, let us give him a fine present. If you really want to please him, Chi Chi said, give him an animal, one he has never seen before. An iguana? No. An okapi? No. A mushy pull you? Yes. No man has ever seen a push me pull you. Let us give him a push me pull you. Now there aren't any push me pull yous anymore, but then when Dr. Doolittle was in Africa, there were still a few of them left. The push me pull you had no tail, instead, he had a head with horns, both in front and behind. Push me pull yous with their two heads were very hard to catch. One, when one head went to sleep, the other head was always wide awake and watching. This is why they were never caught and never seen in zoos. To catch a push me pull you for the doctor, the monkeys made a plan. Very, very quietly, they set out through the forest to hunt. They found a place where they thought the push me pull you might be. Then they made a circle and joined hands. The push me pull you heard them. He tried to break through the ring of monkeys, but he couldn't do it. He saw it was no use. He sat down and asked them what they wanted. They asked him if he would go home with Dr. Doolittle. The push, me pull, the push me pull you shook his heads hard. Certainly not, he said. For three days and three nights, the monkeys tried to persuade him. Then at last, he said, I will come with you and see what kind of man this doctor is. The push me pull you took one look at Dr. Doolittle. He saw at once that the doctor was a very good man. The push me pull you said, you have been most kind to all these monkeys. I have made up my mind. I will go with you.